folks, welcome back to another embattled episode of Shore's Journey to Legendary. What we have here is I Support Joe, which is a support deck that Joseph sent me. Uh, this was, I was reluctant to take it on, but it was a little serendipitous. Uh, Rich Real, I believe, uh, just casually mentioned, I think it was a couple days ago, said, Hey, have you ever played like a support deck with Orba Vermina, uh, Orsinian Forge, and, uh, and Goldbrand? And I crap you not, the day before that, Joseph, the uh, day or two before that, Joseph sent me this, which happened to feature all three of those supports. And so I said, well, it was a request. I like to honor requests when I can. I will not do invade. I've made that clear. I don't have the cards for invade anymore. I've dusted most of the ones that I had. Uh, so I, I couldn't even if I wanted to. Um, and it is with great reluctance. I don't know that I ever will, to be honest, again, uh, that I would play a workshop deck or a deck that features workshop they, those just don't they don't feel right to me it's just a personal thing personal thing uh, but everything else I'd like to accommodate requests I, I encourage that say if you have a suggestion or something I am I'm more than happy to to accommodate so I had I was given a deck for a, a, a deck type that I never have ever played in fact darn you Joseph I actually had to blow through my entire gem savings to be able to build this thing because I didn't have any of the cauldron keepers I didn't have the the old dude that you know lets you have infinite charges and everything like I had nothing and even still even with my entertain me I, I couldn't the deck is supposed to run two dawn's wraths and I can only run one because I couldn't afford the other one I'm, I'm pretty much flat broke uh, I think I've got a little bit but just not a whole lot um Hail, friend. and uh, so I, I substituted Welcome, um Emulating Blast, which isn't nearly as good, but it's kind of in the same vein, right? It's, we're kind of there. Uh, so yeah, and I do apologize. It's another Guild Sworn build. It looks like we've had a lot of Guild Sworn this week, um, but I don't think I don't think the color combo matters as much as the deck style. And this is very different. Uh, yesterday was a mid-range prophecy-esque version, and then oh, you're lucky. I don't have a crushing blow right now. Oh, you're so lucky. Give me a crushing blow, game. <laughs> okay, good enough. Uh, watch me get it here. I can't use it. Nope. And the only the only thing I will say uh, about having to spend like I had to I had to speaker Tyrannus. I didn't have him either because every time I looked, I was like, I want to get as many unique legendaries as I can. Like that's part of the collecting aspect of it for me. But I was like, I could never justify it because I couldn't picture myself ever really using it. Okay, so. Um. I'm doing this just because I don't want him to think we're not, that we are control, wait, I don't want him to think that we're control, so that he you doesn't get me like a giant. So no, 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 no. Good news is we are getting a nice setup for an ice storm, which we do have handy. Oh yeah, good ice storm right here. Let him break a, break a rune, or not. Okay, well, now the the gag's up. They know that I'm control because I'm not breaking their rune. <laughs> and I don't have any supports at all. Yikes. Oh, he's going to get nice and big. That's not great. I don't have a move for him. So I'll probably have to do wait on the Ice Storm, play the Hive Defender. That's fine. She was getting bored anyway. She's like, what am I even here for, man? Jeez. Oh, it's almost as if he saw it coming. What a jerk. I'm kidding, of course. He's not a jerk. He's just a guy playing the game. But, you know, if I was just a bit of a skeptical person, I would say that was intended to screw me over. Seriously, with any cultist, I, I, know, I know it's a thing, and I know it's been played many times in the past, but uh, didn't see a whole lot of it lately so it's it's just a little bit of an unpleasant smack in the face to to see it here now my paws are quicker than your eyes uh, 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 she can she can do damage there that's for darn sure watch yourself so next turn can be ice storm with the stuff you house Hey, our first support! And we're done! 
Just like that. Ice Storm doesn't take care of anything. We're done. Cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, but you can't beat me this time, game. See, the thing is, once you get uh, smacked around and uh, abused and mistreated horribly, which I guess that's a bit redundant when it comes to abuse. You know, you get that for two days. I'm not expecting any charitable disposition from you, game. Not really at all. I'm just here to play support mage, try to figure it out. I actually did test it a few times because here's the thing, I never play it, as I said before. So I'm like, okay, Cauldron Keeper. It says she gets two charges. Does that mean that I get to, like, if it has three charges, if I, I can use the first one twice? I'm not gonna put any fingers down because I'll probably flick myself off, but uh, but no, she, she will burn through them. If you don't have the other guy, the older dude, the 2-4, to make it infinite, she'll just use two charges per turn. So you just burn through them twice as fast, which I guess can be okay in certain circumstances, but for the most part, you don't want to do that. So you really need him to be down there in order to kind of help help the synergy there. Um, none of this looks particularly pleasant at all. So yesterday, we couldn't buy an aggro deck to save our lives. Everything we came across was grindy, wearisome control, except for, I think, two games. And today, it seems, we are fated to have almost nothing except aggro, as we are trying to play our control. So it's fun! That's what I'm saying. It's fun and fantastic. Uh, let's see here. We will uh, hook you there. Uh -huh. Hey, there's uh, there's our tower alchemist right there, looking like a pretty pleasant fella. Let's go ahead and drop our golden initiate down here. Citizen. Stir up some trouble in the field lane. We'll see what they choose to do. Okay, she's gonna eat a lightning bolt. We might have come across our first control matchup in which we are... Oh, look at that. We've got a good thing going here. Orsinium Forge! Barely remember what it does, but I'm pretty sure it gives one plus one. I'm going to do this to get that out of the way. Cool. I'll send them all. Hey, we survived it, too. Nice little bonus. So I can play... Uh, let's see. What do I want to play? Okay, that's a that's a cool play, I think. Uh, yeah. The fires of oblivion. And then we'll do the this guy, and then she can come down next turn, and we can Orsinium forge the crap out of everybody. That's gonna be awesome. Surely there will be no uh, Dushnik to come down and ruin my plans. Okay, so. Get her out. She's a guard. I sell cures for all ills. So we can do... Can we do it to the same per I don't think we can do it twice, can we? I mean, we can do it twice, but can we do it to the same person? We can! Okay, that's good to know. Shame I don't want to do that, though. I'm gonna give her a little love in there. Let's see what you're made of. Here's for you. I don't know what sound effect that's making, because honestly I've never played that support before, but it looks very violent, shaking the screen every time it it procs there. Oh, surprise, surprise. <sighs> oh, okay, well that was an unfortunate surprise there, actually. I mean, we do get unlimited uses, so I guess that's cool, right? Oh, uh, yeah. We're gonna do this. And that. And that. Blackmail, Scotch Report, Lunar Sway, I guess, right? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I know Orb of Romina is gonna force us to take their cards, but I'm not really. On your guard, name. Really dig that. Man, we could, we could really do some stuff here. But we're. This is control, right? I'm not supposed to hit him in the face. I'm a little nervous, though. I'm, not, I'm a little nervous about that because, you know... Oh, see? What a turd! What a turd! Goodbye. 
Ha oh, ha, but Goldbrand. This does two, right? Yeah. I say. Alright. Um. What to do, what to do, what to do. I mean, I want him gone. I want that gone. I need to do, like, one damage. Is that two? That's just too much. What, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I could Ice Storm, but I can't. I don't have a single ping. So, but this needs to go. So that's one and three. That's two. Screw it. Uh, one. Two. -hoo. Three. And I'll put this down here. And grab another action. Uh, weakness. Set a creature's health to one. Prison. Uh, I guess weakness, maybe. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I know it might not be a great plan, but I really feel like I need to start putting pressure on. If they overload one lane, we can Dawn's Wrath the heck out of it. Don't do that, you bad person. Why are you so mean? Oh, no giggles! Giggles! <laughs> no giggles! All right, hang on, hang on. What I'm thinking is, we do this, we ice storm. Uh, that's nine. Dag, nabbit. All right, well, we do, I think we do this. Watch yourself now. And that's eight, unfortunately. So we're gonna shackless this little turd muffin here, and we're gonna drop our the drain. And we're gonna grab a little bit of this. Raiding party. Can't play any of these now. <sighs> that may come in handy if we were able to hit face multiple times. We may be able to uh, kill something big that comes down. <sighs> Let's go then. My time That's something big. Precious. I don't like the look of this. Oh. Alright, well, let's do this faith. first. Okay. Uh, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. Please don't hurt me, game. Yay! We did it! We're awesome! I don't think we did it the right way. Uh, from what I understand, mage support is supposed to be... As much as I hate to say it, and this is uh, certainly no no offense to anybody. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not dissing anybody's preferred play style, but yesterday I did allude to the you know, kind of play with yourself a little bit deck. And, and when I usually see support mage, that's what I see is somebody just messing around with their supports. And I'm just kind of there to watch them do their thing uh, and to be removed from play every so often so that they don't, uh, so that I don't, you know, take down their health too much. I prefer doing this where it's like, okay, I've got a nice board. That Orsinium Forge is a great way to beef up your characters and, uh, and do some things and turn the tables versus just kind of waiting to get hit. So I don't know. I don't know. You can tell me, no, how dare you do anything before turn 12 because support mage back in the day, that's the thing. You never, never that. I mean, I've got a 10 cost speaker Tyrannus, you know, and he's only effective if you play an action. So in theory, you're not playing him before turn 12 to get some value out of him before he hits the board. So this is probably a deck that is geared towards a later game, but... I can't help it if I'm that good that I, I wipe out my opponents within, you know, one turn. No, trust me, I have not forgotten the fact that we pretty much lost by turn four in the very first game we played. So I'm I'm not uh, I'm not getting ahead of myself here. I, I do remember the sting of uh, failure. Hail, friend. Let us hope I do not have to feel it again today. <laughs> yes, that seems likely, right? You know what? You know what? I, I don't I don't like using my draw power, but since I've got nothing else to play, I'm gonna shoot you in the face with my arrow. 
Ha <laughs> ha! Shots fired, literally. Take that, uh, Gian Luis, ninety-one. Oh no, I feel bad. Okay, with no support to play, is that is that a good call? He's not a guard, so I can put down my hive defender. I I feel like people are screaming at me right now. Don't play that card until you have a thing on the board. So we'll wait, because I can hear you. I can hear you. Um, We, we have the douche in here, right? I believe we've got the douche in here. We need the douche for something like that. Oh, no! I speak his name, and he is summoned forth as if brought back from the ethereal netherworld to answer my summons! I celebrate, but boy, that would cheese me the heck off if I was the opponent. They're Not gonna lie. Sight. Because that, that, that's what happened to me yesterday. So I take personal joy, but understanding that is not a... Uh, that, that is an angry thing. But against a movement deck, I'm not really feeling too terribly bad about it. And my Ice Storm is also going to come down at the opportune moment. Huzzah. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, no, I can't let him do his thing. I, I, can't, I can't do it. We've got Kankano coming up on the next turn. We've got stuff. Really no supports. He's got supports. Not gonna hit him in the face. This is not the time for that nonsense. Um, I still don't have a support, so I'm kind of reluctant to play him. But I also am thinking I'm gonna need to trade with some stuff. So. We'll just see. Of course, that tips our hand. Now he knows we too are playing with supports. Lanneth, uh, she can bring me a support. That would be cool. All right, so is he baiting me? He's baiting me, right? He wants me to attack his face so that he can do his maneuver shiftiness. But we do have Encano. We've got Lightning Bolt. We've got Harpy. That's eight damage. It breaks two runes. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry, guys. I really am. Um, I know. I know this could be to my detriment. I understand that. So if I lose this, it's on me. I can't blame the game for you know draws and all this and all that. I get it. But I, I, I feel like I just got to make my move. You know, bust a move as I say. I didn't come here alone. And I'm seeing a, I'm seeing some good some good targets. So Lanath. Ah, uh, that's six, seven, eight. At least seven on the board. Which means if Lanath brings me a lightning bolt, next turn we have the victory, but would they also have They're probably not gonna have a way to drain. I'm just, you know what? Stendar protects me. Let's see what you're made of. If they can beat me this turn, which we know is possible, um, where are you? There we go. <sighs> if they can do some stuff, then they they deserve it. I won't be happy about it, but I I played to what I thought I could do. Oh, they do, they can drain. What am I thinking? They've got the guy that shifts lanes 50 different times. Your death will be swift. Now they have all the cards in the world and all a good chunk of magic, huh? Okay. Well, this is going to be a long turn. By the way, this is it's it's a it's a shifty looking bottle, but it is it is uh, Mio juice. Nothing uh nothing crazy there, just some num num juice. 
All right, well, at this rate, we don't need our lightning bolts. If I fall, the they are no challenge. On cool. your guard, knave. All right, well, Destruction. I expected a little more shiftiness, and uh, yeah, you saw me. I went short-sighted. I was like, oh. They're probably not going to play drain, cre play drain creatures when I did an ice storm just to get rid of the shifty little drain creature. Then yeah, I'm going to go make a drain, drain, drain. I'm a shifty little cat. I'm a shifty little cat. You know, I love cats. I actually once had 15. I, at one point in my life, we had 15 cats in our family. Or maybe it was 14. 15 or 14. Close. Uh, now, they didn't all stay in the house. We had a house, and then the, the people we bought the house from actually had built a miniature version of the house that was pretty much, it was essentially a shed, but they had actually, they put a ceiling fan in, a little air conditioning unit. I think it was like a little clubhouse for their daughter or something. Um, so we actually had that moved closer to the house, built the deck towards it, and so that was a cat house. And so they had carpeted stairs and carpeted ramps to play on, and... Um, six or seven kitty litter boxes. So that's where all the stink was and all most of the hair. Uh, we did have the, the door, you know, mostly open so they could come in and go, but most of them were outdoor cats. They like being being out and about. Uh, I'm thinking this is gonna be an aggro deck, so I do wanna start uh, playing a little something. I wanna be a little quicker about what we do. If I'm wrong, we'll just kinda chill. Hopefully Giggles will get some value here. Oh, and also, yes, so uh, I, I stumbled over it yesterday, but... See? Aggro deck, what did I tell you? Um, nice, okay, we're going to have some good trades here. We need, we need an action for Giggles, though. That ain't cool. That ain't cool. All right, so Dawn's Wrath will be amazing eventually. All right, so hits there. Ideally, unless they have a silence. Oh yeah, so um, it's um, Svantu. Svantu. I, yesterday I said uh, Svantu or whatever. But Svantu is Romanian for saint. And so I'm going to call him saint for now because I just think it's really cool to be able to call somebody saint. <laughs> hey! It's almost like I know how this game operates. I'm just wondering why it took so stinking long. Hello, Come at me. So we do... Send them all. This. And yes, we can do both. Giggles! Go, Giggles! <laughs> Heal us, Giggles. Heal us. All right, Ice Storm is going to be good against this foe. The battle shall be ours. Hey, hey! Stop going after my drain, y'all. Shifty Merchant. So when I can remember, it's fun to, it's fun to, um, but yeah, I, I learn something new every day. It's, it's, it's really cool. What? Oh, poor Giggles. She deserved better. But you, you little Cretan, you can just go back into the abyss from whence you came. Now you could argue I just took away my trigger here, but they don't want to play in the field lane. I said you don't want to play in the field lane. Did you not hear me? <sighs> the douche! I summon the douche! Man, you're not the douche. So, yeah. <laughs> to quote Malcolm, there are, uh... I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, let's see. So he's probably going to want to trade. Wait, discard the top Three cards you're dead. Okay. Oh, that's what he gave me. I was thinking I had the... Never mind. Never you mind what I thought I was doing and didn't actually know because I don't know nothing. Oh, that is a piercing jab. They got bored. 
And see, today I'm on that side. I am on the side of, hey, I will take a win if you get bored because I'm playing control. Control. How shifty my alliances are, right? I'm like, oh, darn control. They're just wanting to bore me to death. And then I play it the next day. I'm like, yeah, it's the best thing ever. But I don't feel bad because if you watch uh, pretty much any other content provider, they they'll do the same thing. They'll be like, oh, yeah, they're just hitting me in the face. Because that's what, you know, orc is going to smork, you know, and whatever, you know, bad mouth in the aggro. And then they come up with a cool aggro deck. And the next thing you know, oh, it's our opponent can't recover. We're going too fast. I mean, they, they weren't like mocking their opponents or anything, but it was like the, the joy shifted from day to day what deck they were playing. So you know, I'm not unique in that. I try to be more consistent, but you know, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to play a variety of stuff because I do know, I know for a fact, we've got some, some folks who enjoy control and I want them to be able to see some control stuff, even though I'm not necessarily playing every game as, you know, a hard, hard nosed control. Hail friend. Hail friend. Manilin? Manilin. Chillin' with Manilin. But anyway, I just thought that was cool. Uh, and the other thing, so it's, he said, you can either call me Saint or Nick. I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, now, I, I know it's, I know around the world it's different. Oh, hey, it's a uh, Exalt Tribunal. I don't, that's, that's a, it's not a great one, but it's doing its job, right? Um, do we just, do we just chill? Yeah, I think we just chill. Who? The douche! Where's the douche? Where's my supports? Goodness gracious, I'm supposed to have a ton of them. Do I really use a lightning bolt on that? I don't know what else I, I do. I get I get it back with Aaron next turn, so that's probably a, a pretty good thing. Hmm. They also didn't have a better turn if I play. <sighs> May the ancestors bless us. I will have your head. Come on, give me some execute stuff. Come on. Oh, oh good night. I can't execute any of this. I'll tell you what. Um. The Nine inspire us. Old Alright, oh. I feel like she's gonna eat removal because this deck is clearly of the aggro persuasion. You must be yep. There we go. Alright. Say hey, the douche! Coming up big. Um I can't do both. Six. So she can hit him for three. Arg. Wait, I can ping. So if I ping, she hits. Ping. One, two, three! And we are out of the lion's den for the moment. And douche can come down and knock that away. We have a few turns to do that, though. They need to ramp considerably. What you got? All right, gonna exalt. No. Okay. So we lightning bolt and execute. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. And we'll go ahead and get him down there. There's always a play. For a little bit of life gain with dagger falling douche, even though I'm sure he's gonna eat some removal. You really don't want me to get that life, do you? But you can have it! Oh, some for thee and not for me! I see how it is. Well, two can play at that game. In fact, two are going to play at that game because the douche has come for your support, sir. Boink. And I think we'll save the rapid shot for something else in the future, I guess. I shall end their place to feast on Like that. So we do a little poke. We do a little poke. And then we do a big poke. 
For a brief second there, I thought it was going to be deal two damage because he nerfed it down, but... Can you please help me? Oh! Oh, the always execute! Always I really need the execute! Wait! Excavate. I can bring back... Draw an item or support. That does me no good whatsoever. Alright, so little girl's going to get big and strong next turn. Ooh. No, she is not. Um... Let's do this. And do this. Um. By the fires of oblivion. All right, and hey, we've got a we've got a decent board going right here. Now he probably has Encano. There, I, I have very little doubt that he also has Encano or something super big. I do hope that troublesome hmm. knight isn't around. Interesting. Okay. Out of my way, worm. All right, so they got a lot of stuff. Now she is a guard. That's good. I sell cures for all ills. <sighs> okay. Now I can play him. Oh, should I Wabba? I mean, because really, things aren't looking too great for, for team. I mean, we can certainly hush. Probably want to hush that. Um, or we, we can't Wabba and him at the same time, so we can't, we can't abuse that. Ah, oh, boy. Tell you what, let's... Um, gosh darn it. Well, we can do this. Put the tome on here. This is not this is not great. Okay. Probably not a good idea either, but what have you got for me? All right, my bad. I know it took a long time. I will have your head. Sorry. Oof. And all I have to have is a silence and we're dead. Hey! So that's five, six. I'm glad I made him wait that long. Okay, good. Thank you, Harpy. You'll, you'll that take that. And we just have no life here. We got, we got no way back. If they have anything good, we're totally hosed. I am sworn to protect That's you. That's pretty good. We'll have to settle this the hard way. They can exalt it. We must yep. the All right. Well, we are definitely in dire straits. There is no doubt about that. Uh, clearly, she needs to go. So. All right, hang on. What am, what am I dead to? I'm dead five, six, nine. So pretty much this whole lane has to has to go, and I can't attack them until I attack her, or I silence her. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to silence her for now. Wait, can she not be silenced? Oh no, they can't be until he gets silenced. So I have to silence him. Fortunately, I don't want to send that back to hand. I can send her back to hand, right? Three power or less, you go back. False. Um. Do I tome? Let's see what I get here. I can't use that for anything, but I can tome up. Oh, time, why are you being so disrespectful? So time up. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. And I gotta break a rune, unfortunately. Okay, and I ran out of time. Gosh, this 
just making me think so much. They have no wit, no okay, that is problematic. Because that puts that in rotation in perpetuity. Uh, unless I silence him, in which case, you know, that's not a thing. But he's going to replay I am sworn to protect Lydia, you. so, okay. we got a good way forward at the moment. Ooh. Is she? Is he? He's on the board. So I can use it infinite times, but just not a ton. So we're going to do this. You eat this. You get hushed. Uh, oh. Nicely done. My fight is done. Really? You were close to. I mean, like, you know me, I have a very low, low boredom threshold. Like, I get bored very easily, but if the players got eight on board, like, I was, I was grasping for answers right there. That wasn't, like, a prophecy lightning bolt? I mean, you're not running lightning bolts or anything? I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe I do give up that, what is this, bored other player to death? Forced concession? The Archmage, draw five, oh, okay. See, I never played College Winterhold. I happen to have it. I got very lucky. College Winterhold, again, it's a unique legendary, so I wanted to have it for my collection. I did not want to spend 1,400 gems on it. Got it in a pack about a week and a half ago. So that was fortunately not one of the many cards I had to craft in order to afford to play this crazy deck. But uh, here we are. And I'm sorry, uh, you know, my, my heart goes out. Like, I was not, as you saw, we have video proof. I was not roping. I was literally trying to figure out with 75,000 cards in my hand and no obvious answers, just trying to sort through stuff and, and work through it all. So uh, hopefully my opponent can forgive that. And I try to remember that, too, anytime that it seems, feels like I'm getting roped. Um, I recommended, uh, there's a, a great streamer by the name of... Dead Broke Nerd. He has a YouTube channel. Has a bunch of different games on it, but one of the, the one of the, of the games he played was Tessel. Really nice guy. Really great attitude. Just a lot of fun. Um, There's a play. There's my only a my only play. caveat, uh, and this is just a personal thing. He did what I did on those final turns. He does the that on almost every turn. I think Puppers is going. Oh, you're going. Okay. okay. Well. Well. I got to do this because I don't want you to snowball, you little creepy kitten. But yeah, so he he will work through on turn two every possibility, every every possible venue, which can be really. Oh wow, this is this is turning into a poo fest. And I don't mean like Winnie the Pooh Fest. I mean like just straight up Pooh Fest. We need uh we need the douche. Oh, uh Ice Storm is fantastic. Holy cow. Yes. Get rid of that ward, you turd muffin. Give me a few cards. And then get off my board. Don't beef him up. Okay. Wow, he's gonna okay. Really maximizing the use there, so we won't we won't have him out of cards. Uh, nope. Guess what? Ice storm's coming your way, baby. Wrong place for a midnight stroll. Now, I will point out, casually, ever so casually, that this is a gateway game, and we are against hard-nosed aggro. But, uh, you know, we had an answer. Waka watches over me. And they also have an answer. So what we're going to have to do, you see, is get rid of him. You can have your little puppers on, on there for now. But hopefully in your 75 card deck you don't have a second one. Hey, alright, Hive Defender. Doing good work there. 
hopefully. Still not looking good. Looking just a little bit better. Can I do... Do I have anything for turn three? I do not. I Did I have anything for turn four? I could have played a camel. Arguably would have been a good call. For the Emperor. Okay. Fun times. Fun, fun times. We yeah. The night mother. Well, I mean, I can Dawn's right. Oh, no, I can't, because he just shut that out. So, um, yeah. Call it good. Move on. My fight is done. A gateway game. A fitting gateway game. I was beginning to think after the past you know, the other couple days we had that uh, gateways had kind of lost their dickishness. But clearly, they have not. So, back down we go. Never had a prayer. Ice Storm bought us a turn, but that, uh, that if they didn't have uh, two Crusaders Assaults and the Squish the Wimpy to fill up their hand, I think, I think things could have gone a little bit differently, but... What are you going to do? Gateway! What was I going to say? Something really cool. Same thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, St. Nick. Uh, you know, so in America, St. Nick or St. Nicholas is the... Is Santa Claus is the, is the root, is the source of Santa Claus. Or at least, I should say, the... Not the legend, because St. Nick was a real person. He was a patron saint of... I can't remember what, but even before he was a saint, he was he was just a good dude that I think he helped kids or uh, for lost kids or something like that. You know, arguably I should keep all of this, but this is this is an aggro deck, so I'm just going to keep guards. That's not what I did. I kept one guard and I, whatever. Three four with the ring is not bad against a possible aggro deck. It's not great, but it's not the worst. I don't think we have a ton of low-end stuff in this in this uh, concussion. Holy cow, six people. Well, I'm impressed with the fact that it's six, but I keep adding friends, which is wonderful. Like I said, if I don't if I don't friend you within a couple days, just reach out. More than likely, I haven't checked the list. I'm not going to turn you down. I've only uh, banned or ignored one person, and that was somebody who asked to be a friend. And then when... I accepted it. They were like, if you, I mean, it was just, it was disgusting. It wasn't like just, hey man, like, Hello. you know, the game could have been better. You know, uh, you know, something like that. Like, I've actually friended people, and I think I mentioned this, one time I, I've done it twice, I've actually tried to, but they didn't accept my request, when I accidentally BM'd. Um, ooh, ugly bastard. Lightning Bolt is probably the safer play, but I don't mind if if we if we lose uh, um, if they have like a silence or something and we we gain a card here because we do have he still can contest the board. Okay, well there goes that idea. Well, let's see if we can find something useful. Do not test me. So yeah, I guess uh, I guess I'm gonna have to. Lightning bolt your your scrawny little butt there, or I mean that's that's better I guess. Um, well no, because if I'm gonna get one back from Aaron next turn, I want it to be a lightning bolt. Aaron, Aaron. So anyway, so Saint Nick is you know he's he's not an American saint. I think he was it was in Europe somewhere, but that is. The, the source of where the, the legend of Santa Claus came from in the States. But as I understand it, in other countries around the world... How dare you, Crab! Traitorous crustacean, you're supposed to be on my side! We had good times together, you and I, Crab! Let's put oh, this to use. Shenanigans... Oh. Uh... You know what? Um... I'll send them all to oblivion! I mean, it's not, it doesn't take a genius with two weapons in hand to see that he was going to hit as hard. I'm hoping... Oh, oh, yes, please. There we go. Um, if they flood the board, my hope is to Ice Storm, or my plan is Ice Storm. If they don't... Okay, yes, we will, we will be flooding the board. Or we will be Ice Storming the heck out of the board. Please put more cards down. Make my Ice Storm 
means something. This day is mine. Yes, yes, pour it on. Bring it on, and my ice storm shall cure you of your foolishness. Let's put these to use. Okay, maybe not so much. That's a, that's a lot of pain. Uh, you know what? That's that's going back in my hand because ice storm is coming. It's gonna get cold. Oh, I think they felt the icy chill. Why did he put that in his hand? Could he have an ice storm? Yes, he has an ice storm. I mean, I'm not doing great on health. I have no drain. I think I would like to put another... Um, what is she called? Uh, Oracle? I'd like to put another Oracle in my hand. Or in my deck. And I'm gonna break the ring to do a little heals. Because I can get some infinite value from that. And if I play two of them, then I get infinite twice value. The battle shall be ours. Okay. Okay, so. Um. Hmm. Lightning bolts. Screw it. Well, let's see if we can find something useful. Okay. So Tower Alchemist and Lightning Bolt is the play. Or no, you know what? On this turn, maybe a shrieking harpy. Careful there, friend. I don't know. That probably wasn't the smartest thing. I'm, I'm getting all twisted here. Doesn't have an execute. Can't lightning bolt it. I mean, he's he's going to help us a ton. Ah. See if we can draw a big old drain creature, but first. I'll try to draw their fire. Oh no! It doesn't kill her. I wasn't thinking things through. Yay! And now they can do what? Four. Mm, yeah, that doesn't look great, does it? Still. 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 I will have your head. Yeah, it's gonna hurt a lot. Let's put these to use. Wow, okay. Alright, so yeah, we're well we're not dead to lightning bolt exactly. Not yet. Let's see what you're made of. Alright, fabricate. Give me give me something big with drain. Uh I mean, I don't want to get greedy with it. That's not what I wanted, but okay. Uh, let's see here. Stand watch, imprison. Give a creature guard, draw a card. I like that. Okay. Your blood will spill. We've got some removal. We are out of range of... We need one more turn to get out of the range of Ancano. How many lightning bolts do they play? Just the one? Ow, oh, jeez Louise. Oh, come on! What is this nonsense? Now we're dead to a lightning bolt. Um, 
Can I play him and anything? No, I can't. So he's he's not a good call. Uh, let's use Javelin, because I think I might want to make a break for his face here in the next turn if we survive. <sighs> I don't like being at the mercy of... Everybody's a creature. Sure. I mean... We're not going to get out of range of lightning. Can, wait, can we... 9, 10, 11, 18, 19. Behold my power. All right. Good. All right, here goes nothing. We can't skip any runes either, so we're just gonna go in hot and heavy and hope to goodness. All right, all right, all right, all right. Eat that one out by the skin of our teeth. Whew. Distinct difference between the past two days and today, even though we still had, we're still getting a little bit of the RNG jank, uh, we are not uh, getting two prophecies per game. So, moving on up. What was I going to say? Oh, uh, yeah, so anyway, so I know, but like in, is it Krampus? Is, or Krampus, something. There's, there's a, I don't know if that's actually the official santa claus character i think that's just the anti-santa isn't it it's like a little demon guy or whatever but like i just know that in other countries like there's one we went to there's a christmas store in um, oh, it's it's in it's north of la i was visiting a friend out there and uh i can't remember where we were where we were walking but they had a, it, it was like an international christmas shop so it had the different versions of santa this looks like another aggro deck they had all the different versions of Santa and like there's some really skinny ones, like tall skinny ones, I think that are dressed in silver. And then there's, you know, Hail there's, there's the, I guess, I don't know if it's even American really, but the red, jolly red guy. And then this there's, ah, uh, yeah, we're going to need to shackle that. Yeah. Don't ping me with an arrow. Don't ping me with an arrow. I need to get this kill. No, 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 no. All right, Tower Alchemist, you're in the game. Hopefully, oh, Golden State, you'll come down next turn. No, you'll come down after Hive Defender. I think this next turn's going to be the big one. Okay, that wasn't so bad. It's too late to run. Is not you quite so bad. Alright, so the game's Let's not been decided as of go. yet. We're still in it as of turn four. Keep your distance. Okay, that's not the worst no, thing in the world. If they have another silence, then yeah, we're gonna start treading into very painful territory. Hey, why wouldn't they have another bone bow? Do you like getting boned by the bow? I do enjoy that oh so much. Hey, I like that. Allows us to clear with a lightning bolt. Victory is yours. Okay. Uh, you know. Yeah. And I do apologize if the if the boned by the bow was a little too. I can't believe I said it again. That was stupid. Uh, I I don't want to be crass on here. Um, so depending, like I that that to me is like a colloquial, like getting screwed. Uh, but if it if it comes across crass, I I do, I do apologize. Uh. I'd like to say I would have said that even if I got the bone bow, but 
I just didn't like getting silenced twice. But, uh, but we we have we have now busted into rank two. Um, once again with a guild sworn deck. Uh, I wouldn't say I had doubts about this one. I I hoped for the. The money that I spent, I, I really don't want to be able to, but like, I, you know, you save up because I'm like, there's certain cards you want to get in premium and, um, you know, you have all these plans and then you get this deck where you're like, cool, I can, oh my gosh, this thing is so expensive. Hail, like I said, I didn't have Cauldron Keepers. I think I had one Cauldron Keeper. I didn't have any of the old guys. So like, that was, what, five, five premiums I had to craft. I hate playing her with no actions, but, um... <laughs> So, no, five, not premiums, five epics. My and then... This will be mine. Oh, next turn. Watch next this. Five Eight epics, citizen. two or three legendaries, and that pretty much took it down. So, uh, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. Definitely, uh, yeah. Yeah, why, why are you doing this to me, huh? Eta why, are you, why are you being so mean? All right, we'll see how this shapes out. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze again. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. History shall remember this day. All right. So the cool good news is Cloud... Uh, and that was one thing, uh, Joseph, you might have noticed in the deck list, so I don't know what happened or when or how, but I... Uh, Somehow, even when I substituted Emulating Blast for Dawn's Wrath, um, I... Oof. Okay. It was so emphatic, I thought it was going to be a little more, a little more bold than that. Um... Uh, I mean, I could shackle him, but that's just delaying the inevitable. Behold my power. I, I can play him next turn to start getting a little more value out of this. But for now, that looks pretty good. I completely lost my train of thought. I was saying something really cool, something that would blow your mind, and now it's gone forever. Okay. Okay. So I can mute, mute, kill. Tower. Five, six. Yeah, that's a good turn, right? Boink. Your fear betrays you. Boink. I'm going to enjoy this. And boink. Uh, prophecy, gain five health, stand watch. We probably need the card draw, actually. Okay. My big boys are standing in the wings. Wait for their opportunity to shine. Ooh, good night. Sorry, I got vulgar again, I know, but... Ooh, yay! Uh, let's see. Uh, well, let's do this first. Oh, happy days. So let us... Um, so we do this. Mummify... Shoot. One. Wait, wait. Am I right? No, I can't do both. Son of the gun. Why did I think I could do both? Oh, because I can't do math. That's why. Um, fine. One, two... Uh, 
abysmal failure. I mean, Mummify is going to be good, but one turn too late to avoid spawning that little... Oh, and I thought, and if he's got another one, I'm even worse off. Speak, citizen. Okay, so we are definitely facing a lot, a lot of not niceness. Come on, you need an action that is cool. That seems pretty cool. For the next turn, anyway. Oh, wait, why? Well, just in case he's got a third one of those. We'll rebuild okay, that's not great. And Fell the Mighty is not going to do what anything against right, that. that is needed. Oh, boy. Not good, folks, not good. Do you not fear me, mortal? Even worse. Uh, Marak would be fantastic. Ah, oh, boy. Do this. Let's do Fell the Mighty. Three power or less. I'm really interested in removal at this point. Um, before she gets killed, we'll get another one. That looks like it'll be good in the future. So let's see if we can last another turn. Not looking good. Seems very sure that they're going to be able to get through that guard. Yep. We can wipe the board, but only after we go down to four health. Another card. Okay. The douche. And the storm of ice. Oh, I got a douche first. I'm going to lose my douche. Sorry, douche. You will lose your life in service of your fellow peeps. <laughs> they still have so many cards. Oh, man. I can rack a big one. That's not a big one. That's not a big one. Why are you playing a bunch of little cards, man? Why are you playing a bunch of little cards? It's kind of a jerk thing to do. You need to play the big cards. Uh, let's see. Do I have an answer for anything at all? Marak takes one. They have seven. Piercing Javelin. Uh, we are scraping at the bottom here. I'm pretty sure we're going down pretty darn quick. They just need a couple key cards. And we will be eating the four damage to the face. We must protect the night mother. Garnag making Marak and Speed of Ternus completely obsolete. And breakthrough. Crusader's Assault for the win. Perfect cards, perfect cards. But I don't, I don't mind that one too much, just because we were down to like I, I we were on borrowed time with no guards, and it wasn't like we were about to stabilize. So uh, if that was their last card, yeah, maybe. But they whittled us down a little too quick. Oh yeah. I think it was a pretty good day, not gonna lie. It was a, it was a good day, I got to hang out with some coworkers. I, I actually work from home most of the time, but uh, we have occasional days where we go into the office. And so I got to go in, but like I said, introvert, not used to being around people. Was there for like three or four hours. Some of the discussion was a little, little I believe we beat this person already. Or we played them anyway. I don't know if he's one of the aggro that beat us down or if he was one that ended up conceding on us. But yeah, today, it's nothing but aggro. Yesterday, when I had Madrain and the best game plan ever, 
couldn't couldn't find an aggro deck. Oh, it's control. Control, control, yeah, you right. must run control. That was the worst Yoda I've ever done and I've ever heard in my Hello life. I do there. apologize. But you know what? Okay, so if he didn't beat us, that's great sportsmanship. Because, you know, I've noticed sometimes people will say hello the first time, but if you beat them the second time, they don't want to say anything. It's like, screw you, dude. I'm, I'm mad now. I'm a mad man. So if we did win, at least he's, he's being nice about it. But beware of Giggles, because she will come down and the next turn will be channeled Storm against this... Check this right here. Or should I just channel Storm now? You know what? No. Arg. Arg. Ah, uh, yeah, so... Preparations have been made. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We are going to eat eat a lot there, so I can I can get a little bit of gain with her. Watch yourself now. Okay. Okay. Your time has come. Face me, you dog. So this could bite me in the butt. Like I said, if they've got ah. If they've got um, a way to remove that. Otherwise, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Oh yeah, we're gonna eat it big on this one. Do not test. But we do have Channel Storm and Giggles next turn, so that's good Face news. Me, you dog. Uh, that's very spill. good news. Go, Giggles! Go, Channel Storm! <laughs> Laugh it up, Giggles. Show them that you're not afraid. I fight with the fervor of Hey, the stop! You Erg! I will have your head. Hey, little girl. Keep laughing. Watch this. Keep laughing. Watch yourself now. Oh, uh, gosh, who was that? That was a very poor rendition of Tonic. Great song, though. Uh, well, let's see if we can Soldier's Daughter, I think is what it's called. Really great song. Be silent. So, my boy Abner... My boy Abner can. Uh, do I do I want that? Is this is that a misuse of power? What do I have in the? I got channeled storm. That's something. I will have your head. Uh, Face yeah. me, you dog. I mean, she can do some damage next turn with those, but He's it's going to happen at some point. Oh, never mind. Watch this. All right. Don't know what's going to happen. I might. This might be another start going face here, depend on what they play. Because we can go on the offensive next turn. Watch this. For old Almeris, by the fires of oblivion. Keep, keep their critter, critters off the board so they cannot grab their weapons. Must have something else. Okay. All right. Hey, we're we're knocking the reach out of their hands. Their defenses uh, unfortunately, Abner's not going to be able to do too much with that. But I kind of want to get him on the board. Oof. All right. We've kind of bogged down a little. Hmm. Oh, but he can trigger. Yeah, it's not going to do any good either. Um. I want there to be more on the board. 
The Nine inspire us. Watch this. Okay. Let's see what they have. In theory, whatever they're going to do, they're going to have to silence her. They were going to silence him, but they're realizing now that's not going to work out very well. So he's going to go for some, as much breakthrough as he can muster. Oh, the breakthrough and a final push. It's not going to get him where he wants to be. They lack faith. Skull and pox. You're not going to break that rune. Cauldron Keeper's going to come down. Yeah. Come on, would you play something that Abner can do something with? This is just not fun. Come at me. All right. Well, here they goes nothing. Take you. Not gonna break that last rune. Can I play? I can't play on both. Dog got it. I went to get rid of stuff. Okay. Victory is yours. All right. Victory out of the snake. Crap, I completely lost track of time. I don't remember when we started. Feels like so long ago. Tell you what, we have stabilized here. Uh, we'll give it two more games. I feel like I got two more games in me. And uh, yeah, and we'll move on. And yeah, I can go ahead and get this puppy edited and get it out to the good peoples. <laughs> I can't believe I'm in a lost words. I'm like, come on, dude, you always have something to say. Why aren't you saying anything? And it's like, I gotta, I'm not gonna try to force the conversation, but really it's kind of on me to start it up because you, you're clearly not gonna say anything. So, oh yeah, uh, yeah. So Denise mentioned, you know, maybe, uh, you know, if the, if the deck runs cold or something, mix it up with some friendly matches and stuff, which I think is a great idea. Um, but I guess this is where need some feedback because the initial premise was number 12. Okay. Well, let's see what number 12 is running. Holy cow. Uh, what's I saying? Omega Massive 95. Sounds pretty cool. Hail, friend. I may think differently if he smears me with his, with his deck. Don't be luck to my house, that's fine. You can smear me now, that's okay. Haha, <laughs> but I will wabajack you in return. So, a lot of, a lot of channels... I guess we're playing a control matchup here. Interesting that somebody this close is playing... I, I, I really wonder how... how this works. Because my thought is, if you are, if you're trying to stay in the top 10, you need to play more, like, if you don't play anything, you'll just gradually be ranked down by not playing. Oh, but I will turn you into a magnificent specimen once again. Be reborn, little grubby meister as... Okay, not thematically consistent. You're not going to do me a whole lot of good, but you're a lot better than a two-two. Nice try. Can't <laughs> yes, go again. Um, I mean, am I the aggressor on this? I don't know. I kind of feel like I am. I probably shouldn't be, but I kind of feel like I am. See you in the next world. Give me my cards. Oof. Nobody breaks the law on my watch. Surrender, unclawed. Oh. Wait, why did... Oh! Because he got... I've never had that happen before. Have you ever had that happen before? Where he gets pilfer with... Oh, no, because... Yeah, you could do it in the Halalu. I've never... I've never seen him... I've never seen anybody... Now, I'm not saying that I was the first, because I didn't mean to do it, but... Put... Ew. Ew. 
Hey, you're so nasty. Oh, well. Tell you what, I'm gonna zap ya. I'm gonna attack ya. Um, and I'll... Oh man, am I gonna overdraw? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I will. Shrieking Harpy, go! Eat a Wabajack! Okay. Still better than a Harpy. We didn't get a sweet roll. That's pretty much the only thing that could have been worse. Oh no! My totally dispensable characters. Uh. Well. It gives me a lightning bolt back, right? Yep. There's a plan. There's always a plan. I kind of want to use this one more time because I feel like it's going to get removed if I wait too long, but... Bye, Ren. Bye, Profiteer. I slay the unworthy. Hello. Crubby little assassin. Uh, I don't have anything. Like, I don't want to play her because I need her. And I don't want to wabajack her. Give me a cut. Any cut. A good cut. Preferably a good... Hey, here we go. Uh, let's see. Can I do... That's seven. That's perfect. Preparations have been made. I sell cures for all <laughs> I don't really need to draw at this point, although I kind of do, I guess. Well, let us wabajack you. Let's see what masterful, amazing creature you become. Hey, time to fight! And then we'll get our last wabajack. Hey! <laughs> I almost got myself. Oh, wait, what was I saying? Before. Oh, yeah, so. The initial thing was, like, every time you see, with the very few exceptions, and I've always told you when they are, when I, when you see what's before you, it's, oh, now it's going to do one damage to her, and he can do a lightning bolt, take her out, but I don't have Soldiers. any other stuff, so I guess that's not going to do the deal. Alright. Terranus will come out next turn with her. be needing a poultice with rapid shot not her but rapid shot right it's playing with yeah no that's nasty all right you play over there and i shall play over here Poke. All right, gold brand. I'm a gold brand. Boo, boo, doo, doo, boo. I'm a gold brand. Uh, not lethal in hand. Actually, yes. Yes, we do. Orsinium. That's only one plus one, though, right? Yeah, all right. So that makes him seven. That would be 11. So we're still two off. Best case scenario, he doesn't get touched. Is this a... Uh, what you gonna call it? Singleton deck? I don't know, but the douche we must is gonna do them. some stuff. And so we're gonna do. Alright, let's see if Speaker Tyrannus can uh, can stay alive and unshackled. But I feel like this is Singleton. Okay, that's happened three or four times. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. But holy cow, is that is that really what what support mage does to people? Are they just so worn out by seeing it? They're just like, oh, fuck. This game is such a grind. Fine, fine. Take the win. I'm going to move on. I get it. I would probably do the same thing. I, I, 
seriously, like, so control is one thing. Control, support mage. Like, I gotta be honest, this is probably the most expensive deck that I might never ever play again. Because, like, to play it, it's not it's not the worst. But every but every time somebody concedes, I remember what it was like to be on the other side of the board. And it's just like, oh, for crying out loud, what support are they gonna play? And, like, it just feels like it's a never-ending grind. Even if, like, you know, I'm looking at it going, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull this off. I don't know that I got the reach, you know, it's gonna take me a while. But, like, people on the other side are just going... <sighs> I mean, even stinking... Uh, I mean, that was you control, not triathlon, Tribune. Tribune, yeah. Is that Tribune? Anyway, you know, and they got bored with the game, so I don't know. I just feel bad. I feel bad. Like I said, I'm a big do unto others person. Not because of any, like, hyper spirituality or anything. Honestly, I just think it's a good rule to live by. Like, if it makes you miserable... Don't do it to other people. And that's part of my problem. Like, so you, there, there's projection. I think I've mentioned this before. There's projection. And then there's, which is, and I'm kind of guilty of this myself. Um, but not like, oh, my, my fears or my whatever I project on you. It's, if something seems wrong to me or doesn't seem right to me, I'm very quick to say, I don't. I don't want to, like, I'm not going to do that to somebody. And the problem is then I expect the same thing. Goodness gracious, we just, well, I don't want to do another one. Well, now we're probably going to need it. I have no patience for fools. But not now. They don't have support removal, so if we can get far enough into the game. You are no match. Uh -huh. Cool. Oh, gosh. Disappointment, first rune prophecy. Wow. And he's probably gonna probably gonna play something that I really would like to fusion No, nope. okay, never mind. There are ill winds this day. Ooh, but I do want a piercing javelin. You, you, you beautiful, magnificent, annoying as heck card. Uh, but I'm not gonna because we got ice storm next turn. Your blood will spill. And you know what? I can I can ping you without you dying. So I'm gonna draw another card. Cool. And we are going to let you play some stuff. Don't before we ice storm you into oblivion. Please don't play anything big. That's side. big. That's super big. And I can't ping and ice storm at the same time. So you know what? Your blood will spill. We're not going to ice storm now. Uh, Come and have a taste, Vector. Oh, for crying out loud, all, like all the prophecies in the world, and there's nothing on the doggone board. What the Don't doggone heck? Doggone it, doggone it. The stands ever ready. The oh, I could have played the Orsinium Forge. I guess I'll go ahead and do one there. I don't want to play too many without the Cauldron Keeper. And I don't want to, like... They cannot hope to okay. Me. So... Lanath, she can get me a drain. Um, I feel like there's got to be a better target for Piercing Javelin. I, I, I hate to say it, but... Yeah. I don't know. She might be too slow. Because um, she can get me next turn. She can get me our 3-5. I don't know if we're going to last that long. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, that's a prophecy I can get behind. Thank you, prophecy, finally, for doing something cool. And if they do have a lightning bolt, they're going to have to... Well, they're not going to be able to use it on her. I forgot she gets actually plus two. My fight is done. Okay. Um, 
the game, the amount of games that actually went to the very end are like two, I think. Holy cow. I don't know what, what sorcery is at work here. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh, you, it, when it happens so much, you just go, okay, am I doing something wrong here? Like, I feel, I feel like I'm playing Invade. Uh, that's, that's what it feels like. I feel like people are just like, I don't want to play with you. But I mean, they're not doing it right off the jump. But like, I don't know, man. It's just, I don't know. It, it's a bizarre thing. But look, I'm not complaining. Look at me. I'm smiling. And uh, it's not because of the winds, because the winds were, I don't know. They were, they were satisfactory. It wasn't like, you know, a turn two concede or something or a, or a running out the clock thing, but it was just, man, so many of them, we won just by kind of more or less stabilizing not too far into the game. So anyway, um, yeah, this will be the video that you will see on Friday. And I, like I said, I, I might take a break. I'll probably take a break over the weekend just because I got to get some other stuff done. And just to just, I think it's good, even if I'm not, if I don't feel like I'm like, game, because right now I'm like, hey, it feels okay again. But I think it's just good to give myself that little bit of like buffer time to, okay, think about what decks I want to play. Oh, anyway, uh, really quick, if you're, if you're listening this long, and I know we got some new folks on the channel, so welcome. Uh, I know Saint, you're new, and uh, oh, there's a gentleman, a J-A apostrophe, I can't, I, I'm, I'm not going to remember it, but um, like I remember you, I just, I just don't, I don't have your name in my brain just yet. Uh, but we got some new folks, so feel free to chime in if you want to see, like, if you're like, look, I don't care that we see this in sequence. Like, if, if you're at rank two now and you're at rank one tomorrow or three days from now or the next time you release a video, I don't care. Like, I just just play games. Um, I will say this, though, uh, just the way my schedule is, I'm pretty much playing this when I when I can, which is I, I, I kind of carve out this window of time every day on the weekdays. Um, so unless it's a weekend, I'm not really like you've seen it. It's kind of touch and go. And I'm like, Hey, you know, I'm, I'm around and it's like, I'm not recording so I can, I can engage and, and play friendly matches. Um, but if you're like, Hey, I, you know, I wouldn't mind just seeing a bunch of friendly matches. Like I would love to set up a, it wouldn't be an official thing, but like uh, almost a, a try, actually that would be amazing. You know, that would be a lot of fun for me. Uh, honestly, and I, I'm not saying it would be awesome. It, it might suck. But what I would really like to do is um, have like a, a tournament of, of sorts. And it, we can we can try to sort out a day. I mean, we've got I've got I don't know a friend list of like 14 or 15 people at this point. If we can get at least I don't know eight to ten on any day at its particular window of time, and since I'm friends, I can see I can at least see the game from one person's perspective, and I'll just host it. Uh, it'll be it'll be ghetto. I'll have it just on a piece of paper, like the the the, the brackets and everything. Uh, and since I don't you know, I don't know everybody's, you know, necessarily skill level. It's not going to be, it's going to be random, but you know, set something like that up and then I can just essentially cast the game and maybe you're like, dude, your commentary is not all that stellar, but I will tell you this, my commentary is going to be better when I'm not playing because I'm not having to divide my mind between focusing on the board and trying to say something that's not completely stupid to mixed results on both scores. But, um, and that way you get to see each other play. We get to kind of give exposure to other people and I'm just kind of facilitating it and, you know, uh, you know, keeping it going. I wouldn't mind doing that. I think that would be a lot of fun. That doesn't have to be a ladder thing. And and I don't I don't have to. I mean, if you were like, hey, we'd love to see the games, but we don't need you talking through it all. Then we can just, uh, you know, I can just record the games and and put them up for you guys to watch. So we can do something like that. Um, but my point in saying that was, I don't. It's not like I'm going to uh, play this. Like in other words, it would be I would be skipping day. You wouldn't be seeing me on certain days. Is what would happen because. If you're like, look, uh, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, or it would just be, I wouldn't be climbing that day, which, which is fine. So I could, it's, it's, and I've heard many of you have signed off or, or said, Hey, yeah, just fun, friendly game, casual game, ladder, doesn't matter. Just play the game. Just don't play the same deck over and over again. So you've already spoken pretty loudly about that. So that means that, you know, tomorrow if I'm like, Hey, I'm not going to climb. So it's, but I mean, then it, then it's not necessarily Schwar Schwartz journey in the legend sense. Uh, it's my journey as, as a player, as you know, his relationships and all this kind of stuff, that's all developing, which is a, a noble journey in and of itself. So I have no problem with that, but it wouldn't necessarily be like, okay, every day I'm trying to get closer to legendary. It's like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it some days. And then some days when I'm just like, all right, you know what? I just, I just want to chill. 
then we do that. Because as you've noticed, I've said many times at different points, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it tomorrow. I don't think I've missed a day since I started doing it Monday through Friday. Um, when I very first started, the, the very first month, the very first season, I was only doing it once or twice a week, if that. But ever since I started doing it, I don't think I've, I've missed a weekday, even though I've probably said three or four times, I don't know guys, I might have to take a break for a couple days or you know whatever. I've said it many times, but I don't think I've ever done it. So I don't, I don't think there's ever gonna be a day where I wake up and I'm like, I just cannot get on the ladder today. So it wouldn't be for my, on my account, but if you're like, hey, let's just have fun, do whatever, let's just, but, also, though, I have to be able to, as you saw that one day when Denise rejected me and then, um, who, who was it? The, was it Sea City? Uh, you know, rejected me. There's like, no, I'm playing other people right now. I don't, I don't need you. Screw you. I was like, okay, fine. I'll just, I'll just go away now. Um, but yeah, so let me know your thoughts on that. If Hopefully you listen this far. I, I don't expect anybody to because once the last game's over, it's like, all right, what I, the part that I'm here for is done. Lazaro, I know folks like you, you're like, hey, I just, you know, I, I want to hear, you know, watch the whole video so I appreciate that um, but you know and maybe I'll put I'll put in the comment just so that if you haven't you know too long didn't listen what would you think about doing a tournament with just the people at least that I know and if, if you want to hey I've got other people in my group uh, that would like to get in on this you know I can I can friend them if they, if they don't want to be friends for a long you know for a long time I can say okay we'll be friends so that I can cast your game but then uh, I'll remove you from the list if you don't want to be you know, if you don't want to be mixed in the mix there. Uh, but I, I just think that'd be fun. I'd like to get back to that um, because, you know, I mean, that, that's one of my, one of the things I've watched the most is like a master's. And like I said, I'm not the best caster. If we could figure out a way to simulcast where it's like me and somebody else, I don't know. The, 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 the world's your oyster. If you're just going like, look, entertain, just keep doing what you're doing. That's fine. I'm not trying to rock the boat or mix things up too much but i do think that'd be fun it would be interesting i'm more of a color commentator i'm not going to be giving complete insights you've seen how i play i do think i'm a little keener when things are going uh when um you know when i'm not focusing on the game play itself and i'm, I'm able to think about other you know think about what other opponents are doing i will say this when you watch the masters if, if anybody of you have not checked out the masters uh there's two there's two years of it or, I mean, yeah, you've got the Masters in 2018 and 2019, I believe. And it's on the official Tessel YouTube page. You will see, you will hear, there's anywhere from two to three casters, sometimes four, I think. One of them is a guy that actually creates the cards, you know, some of the cards. But you had, like, Justin Larson was there, Charmer was there, and then there were, like, two other people that I, I didn't really know until then. Uh, what's his name? Oh, it's a character on Millhouse. Millhouse. There's a guy named Millhouse that was on there. Anyway, these are these are kind of your higher level players, but so you got them, and then you've got the people in the tournament. Your 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 um, uh, Karakanzuls, your uh, Turquoise Link. Uh, please don't hack me. I like pasta. Like all these very high level players, at least you know from back in the day, uh, that were competing. And it's funny because you watch the 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 casting. And a lot of times they won't agree with, uh, they'll say, you know, is, is there any, is there a world where you don't play this card and this card? You go, no, you know, this is, this is really what they need to play now. I don't think there's any doubt about that, blah, 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 blah. And then they play something completely different. And most of the time the, the casters will say, okay, we were wrong. And, oh, I see what he did there. And then they can, they can figure out very quickly why they, why the, the tournament player played the card that they did or went the route that they did. They can see the, the logic behind it, but to them, they're seeing both sides of it at least. They had their way of going about it. My point being that even great players, great casters, they all many times have very different ways of looking at the exact same play, the exact same board. So I don't feel too bad about it. I think certainly it wouldn't be the definitive, uh, definitive, you know, play by play. But I think it would it would be fine because half the people are wrong half the time. You know, the casters may say one thing, the player plays something else, the player loses, the casters are vindicated, or vice versa. But you've you've got plenty of high-level players and several different lines, several different ways of approaching it, even things that seem to be a clear-cut, no, duh, we're going to do it this way. And only once or twice do I think the casters stuck to it and said, yeah, that's a real head-scratcher. I'm really not sure what he was doing there. That really is going to hurt him. I, I think that was a, you know, that was a bad play. That only happened two or three times in... I don't know, 20 hours of, of gameplay or more. Most of the time they were conceding to to the to the wisdom or the plan or the strategy of whoever was playing. But anyway, 
Let me know your thoughts on that. I will put the comment in there so that you didn't have to listen to all, through all this to, to chime in on it. But I just think that would be uh, kind of cool. Uh, you know, a good Saturday, Sunday evening. I know we're all in different parts of the world, but uh, if we can, I do see like when I got on today, this is three o'clock Eastern time in America, three o'clock in the afternoon, I saw six people from my friends list on. So I know that at about this time in the afternoon, there's enough, there's a good chunk of people around the world that are that are on that we could probably have a nice eight to 12 uh, person tournament. It could be bigger than that. I don't know that we'll get it all done in a weekend, but, um, and it wouldn't be live. That's the only bummer. You know, you'd be able to play it. You'd know you're in the tournament, but then it would, and something that long would probably be a few videos and it would probably take a little while to release. Um, It'd probably be in lieu of my daily videos, if that sways it one way or the other. Uh, I wouldn't mind that at all. But anyway, I'm done talking. It's been a pleasure. It's a good way to finish out the week. Uh, so thank you to Joseph for this deck that just people... I've never had this many concessions in my life in a single session. This is crazy. So thank you so much. Uh, and um, to Saint. That's so cool. That's just cool to be able to say that. Uh, thank you for your contribution uh, yesterday as well. Uh, so many people. Uh, the list is getting longer, um, but I still, I still greatly appreciate all of you, and I will talk to you later.